What's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you a very simple way and honestly in my opinion the only way that you should be working on to open a close up. Okay, so I'm with Matt. So this method that I'm gonna show you not only allows you to open the guard, but it also allows you to shut down his attacks while you're doing so. Okay, so we are gonna start by grabbing both of his lapels up high and I'm gonna start opening the gi, okay? As I open the gi, I'm gonna start sliding my hands down till I get my fists on his armpits, okay? I wanna stretch, lock my arms and control his arms, okay? Now if he tries to attack me, it's pretty uncomfortable, okay? Make sure your arms are locked in place, okay? Don't be with the arms bent. Now if he does a nipple or whatever, it's gonna break your posture, so make sure your arms are locked. And from here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the weight forward on our arms, and I'm gonna start putting my legs away, okay? Keep the bar look strong. Now, from here, I can either step one leg at a time or both, okay? I like generally to take both knees off the mat like so. So I go on my toes, both knees on the mat, and I start walking forward. One, two, three, four. Once I'm here, I start putting my knees on his butt cheeks, okay? See how that starts creating this torque on his spine? And I sit a little bit, okay? I'm not upright. I start kind of squatting down a little bit, okay? This already makes this position super uncomfortable for him, okay? From here, I'm gonna switch the grips from the collar to the pants one at a time, and I'm gonna get my elbows inside. Once I do so, I'm gonna start pushing down as I step one leg back, okay? That's how we open. Let's look at that again. We are gonna start here, grabbing up high, we open and we slide, okay? I want my fist on his armpits, controlling his arms. So from this position, if I see, this is important to know, if I see my partner starts getting his arms under my arms, okay, so go under, yeah. I need to pummel and go again. I cannot allow him to stay inside, so I need to control the inside position here. I need to be inside and in between his arms. The moment he starts pummeling and getting his arms under, I need to let go and recover. So what I can do to avoid him from pummeling once I'm here, yeah, I see him coming, I just close my elbows, okay? And I kind of trap his arms, okay? So when I'm ready to go, I stretch, lock in place, start putting my legs away. And again, you can put both knees off the mat at the same time, like so, or you can put one leg up and then the other. We walk forward both knees on his butt cheeks, okay? Now I squat down a little bit, bending his spine, switch my grips to the pants, elbows inside, and now at the same time I push down with these grips, I put one leg back. If you do not do this last step of putting the leg back and I push down, I'm gonna be able to open, but he's gonna be able to either lock the guard here and now sweep me, or without locking the guard, he can do the double ankle sweep if I don't put my leg away, okay? So make sure, look the guard. Make sure once you are here, elbows inside, as soon as you start pushing, you bring one leg back. So now you're ready to start attacking and passing. So one more time. We start from close guard. Lapels, okay, start up high, you start opening. Fists on the armpits, legs away up one knee on each side of the butt cheeks now switch one switch two elbows inside and now as i go leg back okay now i'm gonna show the same thing adapted to a nogi situation okay so let's say we are we are doing nogi we don't have grips we are gonna use the same idea and the same concept we have one of two ways to do this one option will be hands on biceps like so Okay, now from here, the same idea. I'm controlling and monitoring his arms. My arms lock straight. If he tries to pull me to him, knees to chest, yeah, okay? I'm blocking place. Now from here, will be the same. Legs away, I start standing up. And from here, since we don't have the grips, I like to use a little bit different methods, okay? The first one I like is one forearm inside, like so, elbow inside. And now my other arm is gonna start pushing on the knee. When I start pushing and shaking, when I feel it starts loosening up, I bring my leg back. Another method I like to do, once I stood up, is hand on the hip, 
four, I'm an elbow inside. And from here, I'm only gonna do this one if my head is completely up, head higher than the hips, vertical posture. I can reach back with this one, okay? And start opening like so. If you try this one, while your head is still low, you're gonna get triangle, so make sure you don't do this. Yes, you're gonna give free triangle to your partner. So again, that one, we only use it if you are completely upright, okay? Here, if he tries to triangle me, it's pretty hard, I'm too high. And the last one, if you don't like hands on biceps and you prefer to do something even more similar to what we were doing with the lapels, you're gonna use C grips on the armpits, okay? So instead of hands on biceps, now I'm gonna take two C grips and I'm gonna put, put them like so in the armpits. Now from here, same thing. Arms look straight, legs back. I start standing up, putting my weight on the arms. Knees on the butt cheeks. And now from here, same methods. One hand and elbow inside, pushing the knee, or posturing up, scooping, and opening. Okay? Hope you enjoy, guys. Guys, give it a try. And as I said, I think this is a very good way to deal with the closer because it helps you open the guard and it also allows you to shut down the attacks while doing so. Okay, I hope you like it and enjoy.